Well, hello everybody, how's it going? So today I am coming at you with nothing on the face, nothing at all. And actually I'm gonna cleanse my face and do a mask and just kind of show you guys the routine that I have. Um, so hop on and say hello. I'm gonna share this really quickly to, um, let me see if I can't share this super quickly to some of our friends. Um, let me know when you're here. Hey, Chastity, how are you? <laughs> Here's me and my glory. <laughs> so I'm going to share this super quickly. Am I blurry at all? Can you tell? Sorry. Let me just share this Here's super quickly. <laughs> so you guys, today you are coming at, I'm coming at you live from my house, from my bathroom. <laughs> and I just wanted to um, show you guys a few little tips and tricks and things that I use at home. I always get asked all the time. Hey, Carrie, thank you for joining. So you guys, I always get asked all the time um, what I use. Paige, hey friend, how are you? I hope you got your stuff. I hope you love your stuff. Um, so you guys share the video super quickly so we can get a few on here. But I'm going to, first what I'm going to do, something that I learned a long, long time ago back um, in my Clinique days. <laughs> So I started as a Clinique girl when I was I, right out of high school. I worked at a Clinique counter and something that they taught us that never left me, never, ever, ever. I will show you guys super quickly. If you have any tape laying around your house, go grab a piece of tape. And I want you to take that tape, especially if it's a clear tape. I want you to take that tape and I want you to lay it right across your hand, okay? Just like that. And I'll show you <laughs> the tape test. So this is something that I learned a long, long time ago. Like I'm telling you guys a long time ago. <laughs> I wanna show you this tape test because this is something that really encouraged me and inspired me to become an esthetician and do what I do. Um, I loved makeup, I thought it was fun, but the skincare part of, of Clinique is really what drove me to become an esthetician. So let me show you guys. If you haven't already, did you really, Paige? That's awesome. Um, if you haven't already went and grabbed some tape, I want you to put a piece of tape across your hand and I'm gonna show you what always sold me on why you have to take care of your skin. So I'm gonna take this tape off that I just put on my hand. Oh my gosh, and I want to show you guys. Can you see what is all over this tape? Can you guys see? Let me see if you can see it on this side. Can you guys see all the dead skin cells on the tape? Do it at home, do it yourself, get some clear tape. Look at all the dead skin cells on the tape. It's disgusting. And so that, my friends, cause you guys, I, I try to wash my hands. I've been washing my hands like crazy. We probably washed our hands more than we ever have before. Trust me, I washed my hands before all this, but we probably wash them now more than we ever, ever have before. And look at all the dead skin that comes off with this clear tape. So I just want to encourage you guys, just like you need to exfoliate your body, your hands, everything, you need to exfoliate your face. So I am here today in all my glory. I was going to wash my face so you guys can see what it is that I use. Now, I don't always use every single one of these steps. So I don't want you guys to think, oh my God, she probably takes an hour to get ready at, bed, <clears throat> at night. I don't use all these all the time. But there are some that I'll show you that are staples that I absolutely have to use. And then there's some that I use like for today. See how I've got some stress breakouts? My nose is totally congested. I'm a little bit anxious. So for some reason, I like sweat <laughs> and secrete oils. So I feel like I'm oily. Um, so I'm going to show you guys kind of what my little routine is when I wash my face. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys. This is my Benefit Clean. This is my favorite cleanser. I've told, I've told you guys this all the time, that this is my favorite cleanser. Um, I love it so much. But I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I'm home, and I'm going to add a little bit of the Purity Detox. So we all need a detox. So I'm going to just take, this is really cool, you guys. Look inside here. This is, can you guys see that? This powder of all kinds of sorts of yummies in here. So this is actually a detox scrub. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to shake just a tiny bit into my cleanser, okay? So see how I did that? Just a tiny bit. Can you guys see that? I feel like it's super shiny. Just a tiny bit into my cleanser. 
and I'm gonna just put this right on my face right here right now so you guys can see so I'm just gonna wash my face really well and you guys you see the exfoliating little beads on there I'm gonna wash 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 I try to make sure that any of my trouble spots when I'm doing a detox I try to make sure that I really get my trouble spots my trouble spots for me are on my nose and really right through my chin here and then I don't know how many of you guys get the pesty little like almost like little blackheads through this side so I'm gonna go here and wash this as well so if you guys are just joining me I am showing you guys my everyday routine minus a few things I mean adding a few things I don't always do the scrub I don't always have time to do the scrub um, but I have time right now so I'm doing the scrub so I'm just gonna rinse that off getting all the all the excess um, all the excess little beads off and then I'm done with that so awesome so now let me dry this let me dry my face really quickly. Um, so I love to mix my detox scrub. And you guys can see how it just, I mean, I don't know. You can't see, y'all probably can't see anything immediately on my own skin. But it's nice to just go in and, see if I have any more beads. It's nice to just go in and scrub the face every once in a while. Now, I will tell you guys, I'm going to put a mask on today because I am. I'm feeling kind of quite congested. So I don't always do a mask. I'll do a mask one to two times I say one to two times a week, maybe one to two times a month when I'm truly busy. And we are, we are, we are super busy when we're not in quarantine. So when I remember to do a mask, I'll do a mask. Um, so because I'm going to do a mask, something that I don't always do, but I do recommend that you do it if you have it. I don't always do a toner. Um, a lot of times I won't use my toner with cosmetics um, just because it's an extra step, but using a toner, and I'm going to use the um, Obagi toner today. Um, the reason why I love to use the toner before a mask is because it kind of levels out your pH. So I just put a little bit on my cotton pad, and I'm going to go right through here and just wipe away anything that was left. Of course, I didn't have any makeup. I didn't have any makeup on the face, um, and so it's kind of nice because you can see there's not a lot of yucky left behind, which is one reason that I love Benefit Clean so much. Um, the Benefit Clean just does the trick for me. Um, yes, you can mix the Detox Scrub with the Purity Solution, which is an amazing oily skin cleanser. Um, you think, why would I want to use an, why, it's an oil base. And you think, why would I want to use oil if I'm oily? Well, oil attracts oil. You guys know water and oil don't mix. <laughs> so the oil attracts the oil and actually absorbs the oil that you have in your skin. So when you wash with our oil-free wash, the Purity Solution, amazing, amazing, amazing. So that was my second step. I did my toners, my second step. And then now what I'm going to do, now normally if I was getting ready and I was coming into the office, I would just go ahead, put on my lips, my moisturizer, and my sunscreen, and be done. But because I have you guys here, and I want to show you guys what I like to do, I'm going to go in. Um, I've got two masks here. I've got the Restore mask, and I've got the Clear mask. And because I've got some breakouts happening, um, you guys, I have used this so much. You can see it's practically falling apart <laughs> but I'm gonna go in here and I am going to put clear mask on so I'm gonna be green for just a minute <laughs> so this is your time to share if you want to share and have me looking like a crazy oompa loompa um, but I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna put on a mask so you can see it has a really good smell to it this particular mask is clear it's a deep cleansing mask and my favorite thing about this is it helps with congested pore and breakouts so I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna put a little bit of mask on. I'm gonna use my mirror. See if I can't use my mirror here. I definitely, definitely have to have mask on my nose. I have to have mask on my chin because that's where I get the most congestion. And then I have to do a little bit of mask over here on the sides of my face. I don't do masks in the other areas with the clear because I'm dry. So what I'm gonna do since I'm dry and I just told you guys that, I'm gonna combine my mask. I'm gonna combine the clear mask in the areas that I need it. 
and I'm going to combine it with the restore mask because I am, I'm, I get dry. Um, so I'm going to combine, I'm going to come in here with my restore and put this where I'm a little bit more dry. Believe it or not, my forehead is extremely dry. I feel like it looks crepey. Um, if I don't have Botox, which I'm out. <laughs> so I've got the crepey going on. So I'm going to combine my restore mask through here and the sides of my cheeks here. And then a little bit even around my vermilion border around my lips. This one smells really good. I'm not too much of an Oompa Loompa. Looks pretty good. So you can see how I cocktailed this mask. Um, so I put my clear mask where I'm oily. <clears throat> so I'm oily on my nose. I'm not really oily around my eyes. Little, most people are not. Um, but I am, I do get blackheads. So I put that through here. And then of course, super, super blackheads on my chin. And I have this little breakout happening right here. So I'm going to just let this sit. The, the cool thing about this particular, um, <laughs> We need to laser that congestion out of you. I know. Or even I need, I talked about the um, hydrofacial on Tuesday. I should have done that one live and just showed you guys the hydrofacial too. Because the hydrofacial is nice as far as going in and um, pulling out all those impurities. Um, I like to take advantage of my mask sitting. It only has to sit for about five minutes. But I go ahead and I like to take... This is the Remedy Oil. You guys, this is my one of my favorite products. Um, it's fairly new, um, but I like to take my Remedy Oil now, and believe it or not, this is good for your hair, your face, your skin. I will take my Remedy Oil and put a little bit on my eyelid, kind of as a moisturizing mask for that area on both sides, and then I'll take it and put it on my lips so it can be sitting like that. So I have about three minutes left on my mask. The clear mask feels so refreshing. It's like it, um, you can almost feel it pulling <laughs> the impurities out. So it feels really cool around my eyes, like the temperature wise, it feels really cool around my eyes and my nose. And then of course, you can see I just put a little mask on the face. Um, you can remove your mask with nice warm towels. I just go in with my warm water and remove my mask with water and then wash with my, um, dry with my, towel. I've got like a few more minutes, just a few more minutes. So you guys, if you're just joining me, thank you so much. So I am home. Obviously I'm home via my bathroom coming at you live just to show you guys my normal facial routine. Um, it's pretty simple. It's a little bit more steps today just because this I'm at home and I can do everything, but I try to get all of these products on my skin at least a few times a week. Um, but my basic Easy, easy go-to would be, of course, my cleanser and your sunscreen, obviously. My nighttime routine, I'm always going to cleanse. I'm always going to resurface. A lot of people will say, well, why do I have to wash my face in the morning? Um, I just went to bed. Um, how dirty can I get overnight? And here's the thing. If you guys really want to fight off aging, here's the secret. You have to use products at night that resurface your skin. So you put a serum on at night, a retinol, a vitamin C, some type of serum on your skin at nighttime so you can loosen dead skin while you sleep. So the last thing that you want to do is get up and not wash all that off. Um, your, your products are going to be loosening dead skin. They're going to be re renewing all of that, that bringing back, I should say, bringing back all of that youthful glow. So if you wash your face at night and you don't put on any type of resurfacing agents, um, you're not doing yourself any justice. You want to take advantage of retinols, vitamin A's. You want to put those on at nighttime while your body's at rest. Same idea. You remember the commercial when we were kids where it was like the little kid gives his dad cookies and he's like, here, take two of these and call me in the morning. It's that same idea. Do you need me? No. Okay, sorry. My <laughs> kids are popping in on me. You need to do that same thing. You need to make sure that you, while you're, when you're, when you want to make a change in your skin, when your skin is sick, <laughs> you want to put ingredients on that are going to loosen the dead skin, bringing your newer skin to the surface. So my night, my nighttime routine would be a little different than my daytime routine. My nighttime routine is basically going to be my at-home peel. 
Um, I want to make sure that I am continuing to get the skin cell to turn over. Um, let me see. Don't forget your serum. Retinol will stimulate cellular. Yes, retinol will stimulate cellular turnover. So basically, what that means is you're going. You have thick layers of dead skin. You could have up to 28 layers of dead skin. People are like, that is not even possible. It is. Your stratum corneum can be so thick with dead skin that your products don't even penetrate. So you have to get that off by resurfacing. So that's why it's so important to cleanse at night. And then it's so much more important to cleanse all that off in the morning. So you start fresh again, new clean slate. Um, so I ran my mouth <laughs> enough. I am going to come in here and just take my mask off. I've got this little bit of green on the skin and a little bit of the, sometimes I'll even take my um, soft cotton. My soft cotton will um, remove some of this. Like in my facial room, I'll take a nice steam towel and get all that off. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> so yes, it feels super good, super clean, super fresh. So I go in here and make sure that I've got everything off. Look at that. Let's see, make sure I don't have any green left on my face. No green. <laughs> so the skin feels super fresh, super clean, especially after I've done a mask. A lot of times if I'm at home, I'll do my mask at night. So now I would put on, and one of my favorite, I didn't pull it out because I'm not doing a nighttime routine, but I love to put on the Elastin Retinol because it doesn't make my skin peely. Um, and still continues to turn over my dead skin. Judy, thank you. You're too sweet. Um, so I would put on a nighttime serum, but since it's not nighttime and it's daytime, I'm going to show you my daytime. Um, so I'm going to come in here. I love the nectar, the um, skincare nectar. It's one of my favorite products. You guys, I wish you could see through the phone how silky satiny this is. This is one, one pump of nectar. You don't need any more than that. And I'm going to just go right through here. Oh my goodness, it feels so good, especially post-mask. Um, what the Nectar does, you guys, if you didn't see my, um, if you didn't see my live about two weeks ago, ne Elastin is the Nectar. Um, this is basically a pre-treatment for any procedures. It is going to basically set the stage. Um, I like to just put it all over. <laughs> um, it's going to set the stage and help produce um, a healthier glow. It's going to help a healthier collagen. It's going to basically go in and weed out some of that um, collagen or some of that, basically the skin that's doing nothing um, and help rejuvenate so it can set the stage. So I love the nectar. The skin feels so smooth. It feels really good. And then of course, now I'm going to go in and right now I'm using Elastin's eye cream. I love the eye doctor. I love the eye genius. But I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the Elastin eye cream and what I'm gonna do, you guys, this is, hey Tina, this is so important. I'm gonna take this right into my fingers, kind of rub it in and kind of almost warm it up. And I'm gonna come right here and come, and I'm just gonna kind of press this in. Going, when I get to the under eye area, I kind of take my, my ring fingers, they're the lighter fingers, tap that in and then I'm gonna warm it through here. And I've got heavy eyelids by nature, like I do. So when I have Botox in, it helps that not look so heavy. Um, but you guys can see just very lightly tapping that in underneath and making sure that you're pressing that in on the eyelid. Just like that. And I almost like to almost let it dry before I put anything else on. I wanna let it kind of absorb, soak into the skin. Um, so I'm going to also put on, let me see, I'm going to put on, this is something that I love too. Can you guys see this? I know Chastity was talking about this the other day. This is actually a, um, lip hydrator, but it does look like a gloss. Um, but it's not, I mean, it, it can be, it can be a gloss, but you guys, the joy of this is it looks really pretty on the lips. See how it looks really pretty on the lips, but it's hydrating. It's like treatment. So don't just go and think, I don't need that gloss. That's ex that's expensive gloss. It's not just a gloss, you guys. This liquid crystal through here is actually made to help um, hydrate the lips so they don't look 
um, they don't look and they don't feel super dry. And a lot of pe people will come in looking for lipsticks that are longevity, that stay on all day. If your lips are in good condition, <laughs> they're hydrated, and they're the way that they're supposed to, almost any lipstick is going to stay on better. Um, I'm not promising you that it's going to give you that 24 hour, <laughs> it's not going to come off till you take it off, but it's going to wear better. So you want to make sure that you hydrate the lips. And then truthfully, my favorite, favorite thing to do, and that this is my, I don't do this at night, obviously, but you'll think this is kind of crazy. Why is she putting makeup in her routine? Um, but this is, I'm going to have to shine it up so it doesn't look so dingy. This is my staple. This is my go-to. This has been my staple, my go-to since the day I started at the Laser Institute of Pinehurst. We didn't start with osmosis when we first started. We had, cosmetics had their own mineral makeup. Then we had True, and then we went to osmosis. Mineral makeup is the way to go for me. Mineral makeup has completely saved my skin. It's got sunscreens in it. Um, it is so natural looking. So I can take, so I'm putting this in and I'm putting this on because I am going to, um, my husband's coming home and I want to look presentable. <laughs> um, but I want to show you guys, this will make the world of difference. So I'm just going to take my little, um, this is called a osmosis base brush. And I'm just going to put on just a tiny bit of base makeup of the mineral makeup. You guys can see I use this. It's my favorite. Um, and it's basically just going to even out the skin tone. It takes, it covers so well. You guys, it really does. I put it right on the eyelids. I put it everywhere. I can wear just this out and people say, your skin is so clear. And it really is. I mean, it gives you such a clear look to the skin. So I'm just going to show you guys. Just dusting that on super easy. And hopefully you guys can see how it just gives you such an even radiant glow to the skin. Um, can you guys tell? <laughs> I'm looking in the mirror and I can see it just, it covers a multitude. <laughs> um, it just is so lightweight. There's, there's nothing heavy about it. It is your mineral base, so it actually has um, healthy antioxidants built in. The other thing that's my favorite thing about it is it's a built-in sunscreen. So if, I mean, you do need to put sunscreen on it, but if you have sunscreen in your moisturizer, that's just not, that's just not enough. Um, so this is by far one of my favorite things that we have. Um, I'm, I love Osmosis. I love the brand. But if you're not using a mineral makeup, whether it's Osmosis or not, mineral makeup is the way to go. They have mineral makeup in liquid foundation forms. We have a CC cream at the office. So this is something that if you don't have this, you need to get this into your regimen. It just leaves the skin so even. Um, it's my favorite, as you guys can tell. Um, so basically, that's it. Now, truthfully, if I was going to work, I would put my mascara and all that fun stuff, throw my lashes on, be done. Um, but since I'm not going to work, I'm not going to put anything else on. Um, but this is, that's it. That's all that I do. I know that seemed like a lot of steps, but anything that you saw, if you have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to message the page. You can message me personally as well. You can about my skin. Strangers ask me about my skin, not just people when they come into the office. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you for getting ready with me today. Um, Chastity will be coming live at you tomorrow at 2.30 again. And then of course next week we're going to draw for our um, $100 gift certificate winner. So we look forward to that. If you don't have your name in the pot, message the page. Um, ask any question and we'll get your name in the pot for that. Um, so you guys, thank you so much. Mwah! Have a great day.